Hello, Hello everybody, we are live and today we are talking to you about tips to ensure that you actually work on your website. And before we get started, if you do not know who we are, I am Jude and this is... Chris. And together we Hello. are Ready Steady Websites. So, we know that a lot of people will know that they need a website or know that they need to improve their current website and they perhaps even know what they need to do to improve it or they know what they need to get on and do to be creating that website but they just don't do it so often we find that people's business websites kind of drop down the priority list, shall we say. You know, they say they're going to work on it, but then a client says, well, can I book in a call? And so they do the client call and they don't work on the website. They just react to things to keep their business going and they don't necessarily think about the the long-term amazing impact it could have on their business if they got their website out there. And so we wanted to give you some tips today to make sure that you do actually spend the time to work on your website. Um, and one of the tips that we think you need to be focusing on is that you need to make sure you're actually setting goals. You're actually being really specific about what it is you want to achieve on your website and by when um, and make those goals really realistic so don't go right well you know by next tuesday i've got an event and i haven't even started my website but i'd love to have my whole website live and ready for that event you know that isn't realistic you're unlikely to get that done but maybe by next tuesday you want to have your homepage copy written so just set really realistic goals for yourself so at least you're making progress and moving in the right direction i'm just going to say hello because i can see on instagram we have got live viewers so do Hello. say hi if you want to say hi um so also that's, that's our first tip is to set those really realistic goals you've probably had of smart targets or smart goals so that's what you need to be doing for your website setting those realistic goals making them time framed so that you know when you're going to achieve them by hi Denise hi, um also a second tip is block out time to actually work on those goals and make that non-negotiable so like we just said at the start people go yeah you know what? i need to spend some time working on my website and then they don't do it because something else more important as they see it comes up but you know we see some incredible changes in businesses once they get their website out there or once they make some really key changes to their website that then bring in the sales bring in the leads and so it is a really important thing to prioritize so make that time to work on your website and we've actually started doing this in our mentoring membership haven't we yeah, so coming in May, we're going to be starting doing kind of like, I'm not sure if we're going to call them work-along sessions or kind of co-working. like co-working sessions. But basically, we'll be on Zoom with people and for an hour, while well, everyone just has a task or a number of tasks to focus on for that single hour, and they just focus on those. They turn off all the other notifications, they turn off their mobile phones, they turn off their emails, they put their computer on, do not disturb, all that kind of stuff, and then they just solely focus on getting a single task done or three single tasks done. Um, if you don't have a co-worker space, you can always buddy up with, with people, someone else in your industry, a, a friend, a colleague, someone who else is an entrepreneur and works for themselves or something. So you don't have to necessarily be part of a membership in order to achieve those things, but actually setting aside focused time that you cannot be disturbed for is the best way of pushing forwards with something like your website really yeah absolutely and then leading on from that really nicely the third tip we have for you is keep yourself accountable now for me i know that if i write something down in my planner that i'm going to do I will do it because I don't like leaving it there not ticked off. Now, it might be because I'm slightly obsessive, but for me, that works. That keeps me accountable. I write it down that I'm going to get that done this week and I will get it done. And that will make me move forward with something. If you need slightly more accountability, you could, like Chris said, get a co-worker, get an accountability partner. Even if it literally is, you know, you're talking to them through WhatsApp and you send them a message saying, no, I'm going to do this, this and this today. And I'm going to message you at the end of the day to tell you that I achieved that. Because then you know you've told someone, you want to save face a little bit. You want to show you do do what you say you do. And then you'll message them and go, did it, got my task done. Or one thing that's really helped us recently, and we'll talk about what it was we were doing in a minute, 
is tell your audience or tell your clients that you are doing this and that this will be done by a certain date. So if you are planning on launching a new website or you're planning on getting a sales page out for a new event or something on your website, tell people this is coming on this date and watch out for the launch of that website. Watch out for the launch of that sales page. And once you've done that, you've put it out to people who are potentially going to become paying customers or already paying clients. You've got a reputation to maintain with them. That will make you do it. So keep yourself accountable. So just a summary of those top, tip, top tips. Set your goals. Tip number one, actually set your goals and the time you'll achieve them by. Number two, block out the time to achieve those and make it non-negotiable. And number three, make yourself accountable in a way that is going to work for you. And then you are much more likely to make that progress on your website. Yeah. So we also wanted to say that today is a very exciting day for us because we have launched the website handbook. Which is the wrong way around on yes, everything. Yes, on Facebook and Instagram. So it's the wrong way around. No, but yes, all right, getting big starry-eyed faces of Sophie, thank you. And we've got, so loads, we've got of loads of them. Of them. <laughs> we've got loads turn up this morning. <laughs> Oh, we're getting love party faces as well. So thank you, everybody. So yeah, the website handbook was launched today. The website handbook, create and planning. I can't remember it now because Chris is darting about so much. Plan and create a website that attracts leads and makes sales. Yes, absolutely. So, and in the website handbook, we give some really practical tips around planning a website, around improving a website, around doing the things that you need to do to make it work harder for your business. I've and got actually, to show Facebook as well as Instagram. So yes. It's slightly awkward. Yeah. Um, so you actually create, make those leads and sales. Um, but also in there are some tips Sorry. around <laughs> actually staying accountable, actually getting rid of those things that will make you procrastinate. Um, there are worksheets in there where we get you to tick off and go, yeah, done. Tick the done box to say that you have done it. Um, and so that's the kind of thing that works for me. I wouldn't want that done box not ticked in my book. Um, so yeah. There's a done box. There's a done box. So yes. So. You may want to go and get yourself a copy of the website handbook. Um, and if you do, it is, if you go to readysteadywebsites.com forward slash handbook. If you are watching this on Instagram, you can go to our bio and click on the link. If you're watching it on Facebook, we will put the link in the comments. But it is easy to get to readysteadywebsites.com forward slash handbook. And you can go and buy a copy now. You can buy a physical book or you can buy an ebook. Um, and whatever version of the book you go for, if you obviously you can't easily write in an ebook and you may not want to write in your book you can actually go to a link and get all the worksheets in there as a download and it comes with a little mini tu tutorial as well around the planning ongoing content for your website a video tutorial of me talking to you even more <laughs> and if you're on amazon prime um it comes the next day which we we're really surprised about so i ordered this on sunday and it came today so yes that's pretty cool that is the next day yeah and yes you ordered loads of them <laughs> yes well i ordered one as a real person and then some author copies as well so uh, the real person one came up at the same time as the author copies so i thought that's pretty cool so yes yeah, so the yeah. website handbook is out there um so yes do go and get a copy if you're just feeling like your website isn't doing as good a job as it should be whatever stage you are at with creating a website or with adding new content onto your website that book really will help you. If you've got any questions about it, give us a shout, ask in the comments, send us a direct message. Um, please do do that. Um, and yeah, we'd love to answer them for you. So there we go. We will leave it at that for today. I hope those tips have been useful. Um, and yeah, we will be back again next week at one. Oh no, hold on. It's a bank holiday again next week. It is it's bank, bank holiday. holiday again yeah. next week. We don't do much work at the moment. Well, that's a lie. We've done an awful lot of work. I'm still working bank holiday, so... <laughs> yes, evening. actually, Chris, is an yeah. evening. But no, we won't be here next week, but we'll be here on the next Monday that isn't a bank holiday with more website or membership site-related tips and tricks. Cool. Okay, right. have a good rest of the day. <laughs> have a lovely week, and we'll Cheers. see you then. Bye. Bye.